All right, in sixth place, it is Mr. Branch Warren. Dang, man, this guy is a fighter. This guy has been competing and competing and chasing and chasing that dream and that title of Mr. Olympia for a long time. Now, look at his physique. Typically, I would say that veins aren't necessarily a final indicator of how lean conditioned and shredded an athlete is. But that is definitely not the case with Branch. The man is completely shredded, ripped to the bone. He's dialed in. This man, he's, he's more conditioned than Dexter Jackson and he has more muscle than Dexter Jackson. That's why I think he should have placed higher than Dexter Jackson. Branch is all types of full, all types of full. And he's got the perfect, hear me out, listen. He's got the perfect mixture of full and conditioned. So he is dry and he's crisp and huge. Looks like a monster. Probably one of the most vascular, if not the most vascular athlete in the entire Mr. Olympia. You know you're vascular when you got big old snake-like veins popping out of your dang traps. 100% I believe also that he should have placed higher than Rami. Uh, Branch Warren is a mass monster like Rami, but uh, Branch just literally blew him away with the conditioning. Blew him away in the conditioning. Again, think he should have placed higher than Dexton, Dexter. However, I will say uh, sixth place is a tremendous accomplishment with the way uh, so many different high-level bodybuilders in this athletes are. I mean, just, just absolutely incredible placing for Branch, especially at his age. I will say this, man. Uh, he's got muscle everywhere except his forearm. Check this forearm. Look, your eyes just went straight to his forearm. His forearms are tiny. They're just, it's weird. Everything's huge except his forearm. So check this out. We're going to turn Branch around. We're going to turn him around. This is Branch's worst shot. Worst shot. It's just, I don't know how to say this, but his back is doesn't look the best, right? It's not, it's not pleasing to the judges. There's no, it, there's no V taper. It just doesn't look very symmetrical. There's nothing very symmetrical at all about this rear lat spread. It's kind of a funky look as far as his, his rear lat spread is concerned. And of course, you're gonna see right there again, he's got tiny forearms. Look at him, isn't, there, isn't that weird? Small, tiny forearm. All right, next pose. This is another one of Branch's best poses. He has got the ability to showcase and highlight how muscular he is in this pose. And I wanna say this, if you can just look how skin tight he is. He's so full, he's so conditioned and dry that his skin is just tight, all right? Just crisp, crisp. And I will say also, this is one of the few athletes in this lineup that has one of those physiques that it just, it just looks like he works hard. It looks like he works insanely hard. He has a very Dorian, -like, Dorian Yates-like physique grainy. This time he came in totally dialed in, again showing off a very massive upper body. Next pose, check this out. Now he's got some good peak here. He's got very good peak here, um, although his triceps look a little small. Freaking thick legs, man. He's got, you know, check this out. He's actually got very thick legs. Rami's got thick, le thick legs, but at least Branch's legs look like they're just naturally, you know, they don't look obscure. They don't look weird, and they definitely don't throw off his aesthetics or his balance. They're just huge. The inner or the outer, or the upper, or lower, or the back, the front, they're just massive, massive legs. I know he's short, but dang, he's got some huge leg development there. All right, guys, hang in there. Check out this next shot. Look at those adductors. That's his inner thighs. Just huge. Cabs are huge. One of the best leg shots from the rear. It's just that back, bro. Look, man, it's just that back. It just looks like his lats and and, and rhomboids just need to pop out like wider and, and just, just again, that back shot, man, it just it needs help. I think he should probably go to the drawing board, just see what he can do to add more shape and detail to weak areas on his back. All right, last pose for your boy Branch Warren. Obliques are about as lean and dry, crisp and tight as they're gonna get. The abs do seem, the abs themselves do seem to stick out a lot, but I would say this is probably one of the best shapes and conditioning and overall packages that Branch has brought to the Mr. Olympia stage. All right, boys and girls, fifth place belongs to Dexter 
Jackson, the Blade. Now, Dexter is another athlete, IFBB Pro, who's one of the nicest, coolest dudes in person. Dude, it's totally chill. Now listen, I know Dexter, I know, he came in bigger. He did, he came in bigger. Uh, he plays higher than Branch, but I do feel he got a gift here. Um, I feel again, just, I know, I don't mean to beat this over the head, but Branch was leaner, he was more conditioned. Branch out muscled the crap out of him. Dexter, in my opinion, probably placed higher than Branch and Rami simply based off aesthetics. I think Rami should have beat Dexter too. I, the, the aesthetics, his leanness, I don't think it, it just, he got dwarfed in size. I don't think it was enough to beat that size and that took him down, especially Rami's kind of aesthetic really as well. Um, I know Dexter, he was, he was leaner and drier, but with that, he did try to gain that exercise come in with that extra size and with that came kind of a kind of a bigger stomach and I'm gonna get into that just my just my two cents I got a lot of respect for Dexter um, I saw him live 19 years ago when I won the team division at the all-star classic in his hometown Jacksonville Florida and the dude is still competing the dude's ageless he looks like he's 20 something years old super cool guy all right now let's look at another pose here you can see that Dexter has a very mature physique you can see how how dense his muscle look, his muscles look, how his muscle bellies are just very thick, mature, sculpted, round. Upper body separation makes his, his physique look very sharp, if you will. Everything matches minus the calves. His calves are just poorly underdeveloped, but shape of pretty much every body part is very, very perfect. All right, let's move on. Third pose here. Looking at the shot, I feel like I have seen a better Dexter Jack. Lower abs, like I said previously in that first shot, his lower abs do seem to protrude out. Out. I'm not seeing a lot of deep cuts and I'm not seeing a lot of separation in his legs like he has had before. Okay, this shot right here of Dexter is definitely my personal favorite shot. This this is his best shot right here, his best pose. This is his moneymaker, his bread and butter pose. Bicep peak is just insane here. His overall arm size is insane. The proportion and ratio between his biceps and triceps are perfect. Like a sculpted look there. Lax, serratus obliques all on point yes he does have a definite difference in leg size compared to branch and rammy but i'm gonna say this is one of the most impressive one of listen to me one of the most impressive front double bicep shots next to phil kai and Rami. Next pose, check it out. Another great shot, uh, just showing how sharp his shoulders are, how sharp his physique are in general. His muscle is just, all his muscles are just very, very distinct. And I hate to say this, man, it's really the opposite of Branch Warren. Just so distinct, so sharp, so um, separated, I guess you will. Not really separated, but really just big differences. You can tell the shoulders do not blend in with the arms. Everything has is its own entity. So again, that's gonna be probably what puts the judges to place him higher than Branch. All right, next, decent pose for Dexter. Um, from the waist up, definitely more of a pleasing shot than Branch. I mean, it blew Branch away. Cabs obviously need some major help though, man. I mean, you can barely see any muscle on his calves. Um, great shape overall, clear distinction, like I said before. All right, this last shot of Dexter backs up everything I said about him beating Branch with aesthetics and proportions and a balanced physique. That's just simply, again, more pleasing to the judges. It, it, again, it blew Branch away, and this, this probably is what did it. However, I will say a, he does have a soft, watery lower back, just not as dialed in as he usually is, probably because he, he did probably try to come in with a little bit more size. Uh, back, man, I mean, he's got a sick back. His traps, obviously, you know that. They're insane. They're high as heck. Just a tremendous amount of detail on this back. This is what did it, man. This is what took Branch down. Uh, I think Dexter is getting older. I mean, you know, he could come in next year with just more muscle, maybe be a little bit more sharper and see what he can do. You know, right now there's a lot of competitors out there. They're getting bigger and bigger. They're getting more and more conditioned. So time will only tell what is in store for Dexter.